Hello everybody, welcome to part 20 of our Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix on PC 100% full game playthrough. Um, I am sorry if my voice sounds like absolute shit. Definitely got a uh, little virus going on here or something, but I didn't want to skip another week as far as uh, doing these videos goes. So... In our last episode, we went to Radiant Garden as Ventus, with just about all of our abilities in tow. Um, all of our commands available to us up to this point leveled up. Um, anything we could meld has been melded. Uh, just like with Terra's game, we'll be doing some melding before each uh, new world now. Um, I know I probably sound like crap, so I'm going to try to keep the commentary to a, a, a minimum on this one compared to what I usually do. Alright, so in this episode, we are going to head over to Disney Town as Ben. And, um, like I said, the only real difference in Disney Town between the three characters is what minigame is the central focus of each character's story, so with uh, Tara, we got there and we were directed to Rumble Racing, and then we also did the Ice Cream Beat and the Fruit Ball, so with then, our primary focus will be a different, uh, one of the other two minigames, and then we'll do the same thing we did when we went there as Tara, we'll do all the minigames here now and be done with it, then we'll explore the rest of the world and pick up all the treasures and all that. Alright, uh, that being said, let's go ahead and get down to business here. Uh, pull out my little command tracker cheat sheet so I know what we can actually make right now. So let's, um, let's drop down here. Let's do that, uh, alright, so I'm gonna do a little bit of command melding here. Yeah, I've, I've done some uh, some off-screen work here. At least I think it was off-screen. I don't remember. I don't think I was sitting at level 40 when we ended the last episode, so... Um, yeah, let's see. You know, I, I think this is about where we left the last one off. I, I think the only thing I did off-screen was just level up some commands, and then I really leveled up then a little bit. Um, okay. So, with the commands available to us now, having had completed Radiant Garden, there is some stuff that we can make. Um, at this point, I've already made all the level 3 spells, so we have access to anything with Ga in it. But I think I already had that done in the last episode anyway. Sorry, guys. I'm a little scatterbrained here, but you know, it's, we'll 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 get through it. I will still I will still uh, at the very least know what I'm talking about. Just can't guarantee I'll remember if it's already been done or not. What I know hasn't been done yet are some command melds we're gonna do. So we are going to do freeze raid with a Magnega, and that's going to give us the Spark Raid Attack Command. What else can we make? Now, that can't really be the only attack command we can make right now, is it? I guess it is. Might not be melting as much as I thought. Or did I not even finish figuring this out yet? Wow. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um... I guess there's not going to be as much command melding as I thought there was. Alright, we, we can do this. So now we can finally do Fish and Fyraga and Crawling Fire and get Ben Mega Flare. Hmm. 
The only thing I can think is that I never actually went through and marked these off because I'm fairly sure I got all the commands I need to do this. Uh, yeah, okay, so I just forgot to write shit down. Or, well, mark it, really. So we got Mega Flare, now we're gonna do Magnet Spiral and Zero Gravaga. And that's gonna get us Transcendence. I guess that's it. For some reason, I thought we could do way more uh, melding than that. Well, let me see what else I'm, I'm missing here. Okay, there is one other one we can do. So we're gonna take an extra block command. And we're gonna do... extra poison to make our poison block, and then, much more importantly, we're going to go ahead and get our renewal block. Alright, so let's go ahead and change focus block to renewal block. Let's go ahead and throw Mega Flare on here, and that will make this a really good uh, crab control deck. The Mega Flare is not leveled up yet, but it will be eventually. Alright. I don't really need to worry about a boss deck because we're only going to Disney Town. I mean, there's not really a whole, a whole lot of bossing going on there. Alright, so. I mean, it's. I. Honestly, I may have missed a couple commands that we can do. If I did, we'll just do them on the next episode. If I remember, you know what? If I remember correctly, I was actually starting to fall asleep in the uh, in the chair when I was finishing up the uh, the off-screen grinding. So that that's why I don't quite remember where I am. Anyway, we've saved. Let's hit the world map. Let's get over to uh, Disney Town and see uh, see what's going on. Like I said, with Terra, the major focus was Rumble Racing. With Ven, it's going to be a little bit different. We're in the mask of peace and hope. Comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Giacca! Uh, um... Young fellow, do my hero senses detect that you got troubles? Just say the word and Captain Justice will make all your problems disappear! Uh, uh, who, who, me? Meow? I'm just trying to make some friends. Never mind. Forget it. Don't be intimidated by my magnificence. Go on and spit it out, then remember to vote Captain J. Vote? No, oh, well, uh, forget that. How can I help? That's the only reason I'm here. Hmm. I know. Tell me about your town. Everything's so festive. Is it always like this? Huh? That's it? Nothing else? Well, the festivities are on account of the Dream Festival, which is why I made sure there's carnival stuff all over town. Really? Like what? Oh, you gotta see it for yourself. Wouldn't be much of a dream if I just told you. Right. Thanks. And kid, don't you go forgetting. Captain Justice is the one who solved all your problems. That would be Justice with a J. Uh, sure. I got it, Captain Justice. Ah, oh, Zoe, this stinks! Now we can't open the ice cream shop. Trouble? Rescue is on the way! A festival, huh? Well, maybe I can make some new friends. So 
it looks like we're being directed towards the ice cream mini game for Ben. So let's see what's going on over here. Uh, Pete's wearing different color underwear than he was in Terra's game. Well, if it ain't the last kid Captain Justice saved, afraid you'll have to get in line. I'm working on another catastrophe here for these fellas. Huey, Dewey, and Louie, my good friends. Now, I'd hardly call it a catastrophe. Yeah, all we were trying to do was make our own special recipe ice cream. And we had a little trouble. Come on, it's not really that big a deal. I'm 100% positive you're the victims of sabotage. Not even close. Quit making stuff up. It's just the ice cream machine. Uncle Scrooge left it for us, but we can't figure out how it works because it's so complicated. Oh, we're sorry, Queen Minnie. We wanted you to be the first to try our special recipe ice cream. Oh, boys, it was very sweet of you to think of me. We tried. Say no more, leave it to me. One bowl of ice cream coming right up. You're just going to make a mess. Leave it alone, Pete. That's Captain Justice. This machine is busted. It just needs a good pounding. It does not. Hey, do you think I could give it a shot? No, Captain Justice can't fix it. There ain't nothing you can do, kid. Maybe not, but there's no harm in trying. Yeah, and better you than him. Here you go. These are the directions for the machine. All right, so the mini game itself is no different than it was in Terra's game. Um, directional pad or analog to uh, switch between the boys and the A button to do the ice cream launch. And it's still a nice little Guitar Hero rhythm kind of thing. All right, let's get this over with. Unlocked master mode. Mm, how yummy! What a wonderful treat! I don't think I've ever had such delicious ice cream. Thank you. Uh, oh, oh dear. Uh, oh, Ventus. Just Ben is fine. Well, thank you, Ventus. Way to go, Ben! I see. We had to push this thing at you the other way. Hey, I just got an idea. Let our customers make up their own favorite flavors of ice cream. Not with that machine. Well, the kid might have got it to work this one time. But junk like that needs to get junked. Don't you dare, no. Pete! Fine, but Captain Justice will return! About Captain Justice. You said his name is Pete? Yeah, he's the biggest troublemaker in town! I bet he's just calling himself Captain Justice because he wants to win the Million Dreams Award. What's the Million Dreams Award? That's one of the Dream Festival events. Everyone votes for who they think is the town's most exemplary citizen. I get it. 
So that's what he meant by vote. And if you win the award, you get a really cool prize! Oh, it's just a small token, nothing elaborate. The event is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. That's the spirit of the award. Well, that sounds nice enough. He just wants to get his grubby hands on the prize! And he knows that nobody's gonna vote for him if he puts his own name on the ballot. But nobody's fooled! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I wish somebody was looking out for me. We got our Disney Town command board, and we have technically completed Ven's story portion of Disney Town. Again, the story portion is ridiculously short in this world. Um, all right, let's uh, let's get back in there and do these mini games. Let's uh, go ahead and save, of course. Okay, so I went ahead and. Did all of these with a fantastic rating in Terrace game because I am going for 100% achievement completion. I'm just not covering them in the Let's Play because, as far as these video walkthroughs go, I'm kind of going for like the, the purest where the achievements don't mean shit. It's like completing the, the game itself to 100%. But I am a bit of an uh, achievement junkie, so I am going for them off screen. So this time around, I'm only going to do the bare minimum scores that I have to to get to the uh, Dessert Paradise one. I mean, I'm going to make sure I do all of them at least once, but the only one I'm really going to get the fantastic rating on, or that I need to, I believe is Dessert Paradise Master Mode for the Frozen Fortune Command style. Alright, let's do this. Oh crap. Thanks again. Not do that yet. All right. So we already did beginner mode for the story, so let's go ahead and jump right to master mode. score, but it wasn't terrible. Oh, I got ready. Oh. oh, okay. So we get an elixir for that. Uh, I'll quit out of that one. All right, let's do... Come on. Let's do the last way. 
I think we only need a cool score to unlock Master Mode, at least that's how it was for the other one. Master mode, unlock Desert Paradise, unlock Destiny Islands. Right, let's do Master mode, get this out of the way. Back to do that on this one. Well, I'm say if that wasn't fantastic, there's something wrong. All right. All right. So this is the one that we have to get an excellent, or fantastic on um, master mode, I believe. Song. Oh, I got Ruby. All 
Alright, master modes unlocked. Alright, frozen fortune, here we come. Unlock the Frozen Fortune command style, which, again, we need it for the 100% report, otherwise I wouldn't have bothered trying again. Alright, we gotta do Destiny Island.
It's such a pain in the ass to do this one because it's so much slower than the other ones that you get a trigger finger and press the button like way too early. So I had to restart it five times. All right. Beauty is master mode. It doesn't matter. Shit. I think I have to get at least a cool on this one to unlock the last song. Let's find out. So the cool rating is all you need. You only have to get fantastic on all of them one time if you want the achievement. So let's do hand to hand. You need at least the cool ranking to unlock master mode. And then on master mode, it doesn't matter how bad we botch it.
Okay, so it's not a fantastic, but it, it's good enough. All the ice cream is in the books. Well, all the ice cream mini games are in the books. We haven't even touched actual ice cream as then. All right. Um. So we have to do fruit ball with all three characters for the report anyway. We have to win fruit ball with all three characters all the rounds because it is the only way to get the chaos snake shot lock. You can't can't make it, you can't buy it, at least not in the original version, uh, maybe there was something added to the final mix, it's not covered in my uh, reference material, but to the best of my knowledge, we must do Fruit Ball, we must win against Pete in whatever color pajamas he's wearing to get the Chaos Snake shot lock, alright, so here we go, Fruit Ball next, we'll save Rumble Racing for last since it's easier. And has not changed at all. Uh, we're playing soccer, except you can use your hands, I guess. And the net's moving. Um, a to shoot, X for a curve shot, Y to bump the fruit into the air, press A for a goal shot, or Y again to smash your opponent in the face with some fruit. Which, if you use one of the big ones and they can't block it, will stun them, leaving their net wide open. Hopefully.
don't think I've ever uh, won with a lead like that. Glad I'm not the Atlanta Falcons, because I would have found a way to blow it. All right, so that's the uh, Bruisers. Now let's take on our uh, favorite gummy ship mechanics. Big a lead as the last one, but still pretty damn good. Got a Magnera for our troubles, and now we can take on Pete in his uh, hero underwear. Even though Pete is still Pete, he's still a troublemaker jack off. All right, Horace, bring on Captain Phony Justice. Let's do this. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Alright, so surprisingly, Fruit Ball went over rather painlessly. Alright, let's head back over to the plaza and save. Alright, so ice cream and fruit ball are done. Alright, let's go take care of the rumble racing. I'm not even going to worry about the treasure chest right now, we'll just get all that stuff afterwards. I am so over leveled for this right now, it's ridiculous. But well, whatever. How about the rumble racing? Yeah, yeah, you bet, you crazy little chipmunk. Alright, so Country Chase and Disney Drive are available to start. Let's knock those out. Same controls, except instead of uh, Terra's jet cycle, we get a uh, we get to use our Keyblade Air Hoverboard. Um, accelerate with A or X, brake with X or Square. Use the ramps and dash rings. Um, yeah, uh, come in first. B to attack or circle. Um, y or triangle to protect yourself. And let's do this. It's almost like NASCAR, except way more exciting because we're doing more than just taking left turns. Come on! find it so ironic that the shortest, easiest course is the one that has, like, always such a close finish between you and whoever gets second. But that one's done. We got a high potion. Quit. Win! I wasn't supposed to do that. Anyway, that's the Tornado Command. Pretty sure I used that in the last episode anyway, but that's the Tornado Command. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. Ah, uh, 
Yep, Rumbly Racing. Uh, Disney Drive. say something but I can't really say it without spoiling. I mean it's not really a spoiler anymore. You see how young Sora and Riku are in this game. So I feel like they missed a huge opportunity here because here we are when Sora and Riku are still tiny little children and uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie are in like their DuckTales kid age. They really could have had them be like teenagers like in that boss and quack pack I feel like that was a missed opportunity. Like, imagine Sora walking into that shop in Kingdom Hearts 1 and Huey, Dewey, and Louie in their teenage punk forms just looking at him like, who's this, who's this moron with the big shoes? Don't get me wrong, I love Sora to death, but he is not the sharpest tool in the shit. <laughs> Courses to go, and we're done. Oh, okay, we're getting there. Grand Spree is opened, and we got a fire dash command. I think we already had. All right, let's do Grand Spree.
no way, do you? supposed to use tornado not get hit by one all right castle circuit that's our last course so i could be wrong on this but to the best of my knowledge to come to 100 percent that trinity report that i showed you guys at the end of uh tara's game uh we do need to get every item and every keyblade with all three characters so you do actually have to complete the um castle circuit in first place to get that uh, victory line keyblade. So let's do this and then that's it. Disney Town mini games are done. Bye bye.
go. That is the end of our Disney Town minigame adventures. Victory Line Keyblade, above average reach that makes it easier to land critical hits. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, I haven't really used Frolic Flame much, so we'll keep Frolic Flame on for right now, and then I'll switch out to Victory Line after we're done here. Alright, treasure chest and stickers, let's do this. Yeah! Ah! Run! Ugh! Fire! You, there is a reason for doing a mostly Thunder Surge deck. Yeah! 
now it's a dead phone. Alright, so what kind of sucks right now is we don't even have... Yeah, we don't even have an air dash command yet for Fen. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to use the Thunder Surge as a makeshift air dash. Actually going to come back to this room afterwards and get all these treasures because I am about to attempt to do what is uh, almost like a sequence break if you're playing the Metroid games. Um, Sequence break means you yeah. make it so that you get to something God. way earlier than you're supposed to. Um, there's a certain point in the game where Fen automatically gets the wide command. And then you're supposed to come back there and use it to get the super glide. Yeah, 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 get the super glide now using the uh, thunder yeah. if it's going to work, but we are going to try. High jump is maxed out. We have a bunch of maxed out thunder surges. It should work. First, let's go ahead and get the treasure chest here since we are already here. the important one. That's the rare command. Alright, let's see if we can do this, because if not, we're going to have to come back and finish these treasures afterwards anyway. Alright, so we have a bunch of thunder surges, we've got high jump, let's see if we can get over there. Come on. Boom!
first. Alright, I guess we're gonna do Sliding dash, let's grab three more. Definitely shouldn't take more than four of them to get over there. Um, so you down here. I'm trying to get these leveled up. I'm gonna try it one more time. If it doesn't work, I'm, we'll come back and do it later. Just between all the mini games and whatnot, this is already gonna be uh, probably a little longer an episode than I'm looking up paying attention. So, but we'll go to wipe out all the enemies and hopefully level these commands up a little bit. Yeah! Yeah! See ya! like I did with Terra towards the end of our events game. Yeah. We'll go through and show all these locations again anyway. Alright, here we go. Come on! Yeah! Yes! To get the enemies, get the chest first. And there is Super Glide. So like I said, this is technically a sequence break because we should not be able to get Super Glide until after we got the Glide command from Neverland. 
So now we have an ability we have no business having, and now we can go back and pick up whatever treasure chests and stickers that we're missing here. Yeah! Uh, Get rid of yeah! These guys. Yeah! All right, is that everybody? Yes, it is. So now, let's go over here and equip Super Glide. All right. Next one at 110 points is a wicked, wicked awesome command. Oh. Alright, so we're gonna go through the sewers one more time now that we have that super glide. Full advantage of our neat little sequence breaking ability. Actually, be all the treasures. Let's see. Before I even bother going into the pinball area again. Ah, oh, we're missing one. We're really missing one. Come on. What are we missing? Oh crap! All right, we gotta go back to the pinball area. Now, we have Super Glide. That's going to make it much easier to get around in here, too. That's it. This world is done. Let's go out this way. Just glide right back to the main plaza. Alright, give me a minute here to put my boss deck back together properly. Not that it's really proper yet because there's still a lot of commands that I don't have that I would like to have. Let me get that one leveled up. Aerial Slam's pretty good to have for right now. And I guess we can. Boss decks put back together. Let's go over to our crowd control deck. Let's fix 
fix all this. Reversal slash super glide. And I do believe that is all that we need to do here. in this trip, too. Alright, so as I do at the end of every episode, we are going to head over to Radiant Garden, which is, as far as I'm concerned, our new hub, as opposed to dropping down in the dwarf's mine every single time. Set down here in Castle Town go check out the shop and see what new commands are available now. Alright, so Spark Rage there because we got one already. Same with Aerial Slam. Uh, slot Edge, same thing. There might not be anything actually new here this time. Let's see. Every, everything here that's new is uh, only because we made it. However, I know with Aerial Slam that opens up at least uh, one command that we can melt for the next one. Possibly Slot Edge too, maybe even Spark Raid. Yeah, I mean, just like every other episode now, off screen I'll see what commands we have access to, what I can make for melding, and you know, we'll, I'll do that, I'll do the grinding off screen, and we'll start each episode with some melding if we can. Um, all right, so we got the Disney Town command board. We also still have the uh, the Honeypot board, which we'll do at the end of Olympus Coliseum, just like we did with Terra, which Olympus Coliseum will be our next episode anyway. So let's go ahead and wrap this one up with our usual usual end of episode report. All right, so status: we did get the Frozen Fortune command style. And as I've said before, this activates at random when you use an ice cream. We don't have any ice cream for Ven yet, so that's not of any use to us. But, I mean, I don't really like to rely on it anyway because it's random. I'm just going to make sure that we trigger it a collective 30 times before we're done with the game. That way we get the, um, the Trinity Report trophy for it. But we do have it. We have access to it. You know, it's always good. Um... We've got the Victory Line Keyblades, some ice cream ingredients, we picked up our action recipe, and we did get our first Chaos Crystal. Um, I will go ahead and equip Victory Line just because I do want to use each Keyblade once, even though you did see all of them with Terra, but still. I mean, it's got a high critical rate anyway, so that's always good. Um, command List, we got... I'm not even show anything new here right now, just went through for the command melt. Oh, it should still show it. So, Elixir, Mega Ether, Mega Potion are showing us new. Chaos Snake we picked up from the Fruit Ball. And since Ragnarok is already leveled up, and I believe I've already put all the other ones in our report, we'll go ahead and start leveling this up. I guess I should have done that earlier. Um, Alright, let's look at the report. Alright, so we did get our Disney Town story entry. For game records, we got like all the uh, Disney Town mini games. Character files, we got everybody from Disney Town. On first, we got the. Is that really the first time I triggered a spider chest for Ven? Okay, we got Spider Chest, uh, the Vile File, and yeah, okay, that's it. Um, the treasures we know are done, Command Collection is starting to come along. Command, uh, yeah, Ven, because Ven, Ven doesn't really have, I believe, as many attack commands as Terra, or as many magic commands as Aqua. Item commands are nearly done. We need the Mega Elixir, and then we gotta make the ice cream. Friendship commands, we'll get the bulk of those in the Mirage Arena, just like with Terra. Uh, Van's got a lot of movement commands. Might be able to make a few of those now. We'll find out. One more block to go. One more retaliation command. Shot locks are filling in. We're, we're getting there. We are getting there. Um, 
I don't believe we got a new D-Link out of this. So let me go check that now. Okay, no, because we, we, we can now get Pete's D-Link from the command board, but we have to do the command board to get it, so... No new, no new uh, D-Links this time. And last but not least, let's check our sticker album. That's right, I got... Make, wait, where, where the hell did I get that from? Huh? I don't even remember picking up that sticker. Am I... Am I having that off a day here? Let's see. Oh, right, 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 okay. Yep, that's the one that I picked up gliding through the Gizmo Gallery. Okay, so we never did that. So let's put His Majesty right here. All right, and we're ever so closer to our Salvation Command. All right, and that's... So that's pretty cool. We're only missing uh, one sticker right now. And it's Enchanted Dominion, and I mean, I could go and get it now, but... You know what? Yeah, I'll grab it later. Because, I mean, we got to go back through all the worlds later so I can show you all Ven's uh, prize pot. Yeah, prize pot ice cream locations anyway. All right, so that's going to be a wrap for this episode. Um, like I said, from here on out, we're at the same thing as Terra, and we'll do the same thing as Aqua. After Radiant Garden, we're going to start each episode with whatever command mounts we can do. Now that we have easy ways of getting money and, and more commands accessible to us. So I'm going to go see what commands I need extras of, uh, level them up off screen, and I will see you guys back for the next episode. We'll do some command meld and then move on to our next world, which it's not really a spoiler because I've said it many times. The world order is pretty much the same from here on out, so we'll be going to Olympus Coliseum. And, um, yeah. Yeah, we're going to Olympus Coliseum, and our experience there will be a little bit different than Terra's was. Anyway, the good thing about Disney Town being done is, like, most of the mini games are done, and actually got through all of them surprisingly easily. I, I really, like I, like I said during Terra's game, Fruit Ball for me was absolute hell every time I played through this game, and I don't know how I've gotten so lucky this time through, but I'm just going to be grateful and hope that it carries over to when we have to do it one more time with Aqua's game. All right. Seeing as I am starting to really lose my voice, I suppose that's enough ranting and raving for one episode. Um, as always... I thank you all for watching. I hope everyone's enjoying the story so far. Um, just like with Terra's game, the story's going to get, you know, really intense towards the end right now. We're just kind of passing through Disney Worlds like any other Kingdom Hearts game. But uh, it gets better. You know, we'll get to the Keyblade Graveyard and we'll find out what the hell happened to Ven while, uh, while Terra was being uh, body snatched by creepy old Zaya Norton. Until the next episode, my friends, may your heart be your guiding key.